Hey guys, this is Chris with CNM Aquatics. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we talk about all things marine aquarium related. Corals, coral care, different, we do different product reviews for the saltwater aquarium industry. So today we are going to talk about mushroom corals. Mushroom corals are very, very good beginner corals. These are some red discoma mushrooms here and mushrooms are very hard to kill. If you're killing mushrooms, then there is something seriously wrong with your aquarium. Mushrooms are very easy to care for, they are very easy to propagate, and they pretty much propagate themselves in your aquarium. So they're a very good choice for somebody just starting out in the saltwater aquarium hobby that wants to add corals to their tank. And they also do very well with other types of corals in the aquarium. They don't really seem to bother anything else. So here's a, another colony of red discoma mushrooms. They, mushrooms come in a variety of different colors. If there's a certain color you're trying to add to your aquarium, then there's a very good chance that you can find a mushroom in that color. All the mushrooms that you see on this rock all started from a single mushroom and how they propagate on their own is they'll actually move across surfaces in the aquarium and they'll leave little pieces of their foot behind on the rock and that's called pedal laceration. So they'll drop a little piece of their foot as they move across the rock and then that little piece will grow into a new mushroom. You can see a little blue purple discoma tucked in here with the red ones. In this picture it just kind of shows you you can get fluorescence and different colors with different lighting in the mushrooms. In this one they they grow everywhere so they can even grow up the glass on your aquarium like this guy here. He was he just walked there from a from a rock and he's made his home on the glass and that's a very dimly lit area of the tank. They do good in low light to medium light. So here's another different type of mushroom. This is a Recordia mushroom. And you can see it's got two mouths there. Um, I don't really go out of my way to feed mushrooms, but they will eat if you feed them. I do think that it helps with growth and coloration a little bit if you do feed them, but I don't particularly go out of my way to feed them, but there are people that do. So this Recordia mushroom, you can see the tentacles on the mushroom, those, the bubble looking tentacles. Um, there's two types of Recordias, ones that come from the Pacific and they're called Recordia humus. And then there's mushrooms that come from the Caribbean and they're called Recordia floridas. So Recordia humus, the tentacles grow up around the mouths, which you can kind of see here. They're real close to the mouth. And then the Recordia floridas, they won't really have the pronounced tentacles around the, the mouth. They'll almost have a smooth area around the mouth where there's no tentacles. So that's just one, one way to kind of tell a difference between the two. So here's another type of mushroom. I don't know the scientific name, but I've heard them referred to as hairy mushrooms because their tentacles are small and kind of almost kind of fuzzy looking. Looks like hair. And they have a, a mouth in the center there as well. It's not as pronounced as the Recordia was. But it is there. I do think that Recordias maybe are a little, little harder to take care of. The red discomas that we showed earlier are very beginner friendly. Recordias like a little better water quality so just keep that in mind when you're choosing mushrooms start with the discomas and then you can move up to the recordias after you're comfortable taking care of the discomas but they all come in different colors and textures and varieties so this discoma this red discoma here I'm showing you can see how it's got some white around the disc there and what happened was I put him into a different aquarium with higher lighting and that's kind of what happened was he got bleached out a little bit. 
so mushrooms in general like lower lower lighting so that's they're better for the bottom of the aquarium or lower lit areas of the aquarium and they also do better in lower flow areas it keeps them from getting blown off of the rocks and blown around and becoming detached and they tend to expand better and have better expansion um, when they're in the lower flow areas of the aquarium and this guy is in a, a lower flow area and you can see he's, his disc is expanded quite a bit so he's a nice looking discoma he's purple with some like bluish teal streaks in him so he looks pretty good with the, the coralline algae there on the rock. And you can see that he's, he's split on his own. He's got a second head on the left there where it, he's dropped a part of his foot and it's regrown into another head. So they're very, very fast at multiplying as far as coral is concerned. They pretty much propagate themselves. But if you're looking to get into coral propagation, starting with mushrooms is probably the coral I would recommend with starting starting with propagating first since they are very hard to kill you can see the fluorescence in this guy pretty cool under under some brighter blue LEDs they can bring out some pretty good fluorescence in them so what I'm gonna do here is kind of show you guys how to propagate mushrooms so I'm looking for one that I want to I want to cut here to propagate these things they are filled with water if you squeeze them they'll, they'll squirt water out of their mouth so if you want to wear eye protection just to be safe you can I've been hit a few times by it so I take a pair of stainless steel scissors here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go just below the head of the mushroom and I'm going to cut it and you want one clean cut all the way through you don't want to be snipping at it a bunch of times but you can see it left a foot behind on the rock there and that foot's going to grow into another mushroom so I'll still have a mushroom in the same place that I cut from and I have the head of a mushroom here that I can attach to some rubble I'll show you how to do that and get another mushroom out of We'll go with this guy here. There you can see that one just shot some water out of it. Now I'm just trying to pick one that's kind of grown away from the rock a little bit so that it's easier to cut so I'm not getting too close to the rock or too close to the underside of the head on the mushroom. So you can see the foot of this guy over here is a little longer. So once again, just going to go right below the head of the mushroom and one clean cut all the way through and it'll come right off the rock. Once again leaves the foot behind for another mushroom to grow. So the hard part about propagating Mushrooms and, and other soft corals, they get very slimy and they're hard to attach to surfaces. That's the biggest issue. They, they, they get blown around the aquarium if they're not attached properly and you, you can lose them. So what I'll do here is take the mushroom and place it with its mouth facing up. And you're going to take a rubber band and put it around the mushroom, keep it off the mouth. And the hardest part about this is, is you want the rubber band to be tight enough to hold the mushroom to the rock. But if you get it too tight, the, the rubber band will actually cut through the mushroom and he'll separate from the rock and float away. So it's got to hit that sweet spot. And after you do this, after a couple weeks, you can check it and it should be attached to that rock. You can place it back in the aquarium or do whatever with it. So on this guy, I'm going to show you locate the mouth, which is right there in the center. This is another way to propagate them. So what you want to do is lay them on a flat hard surface and you're going to take a razor blade and you're going to slice straight through the center of the mouth and the mushroom. And it's important to make sure you go through the center of the mouth so that both pieces have a mouth. And you want to do one cut through, you don't want to saw it. So you'll go straight through the center of the mouth 
and then both pieces will regrow back into a round mushroom shape and they'll both have a mouth. And here's a, an aquarium I built just for attaching soft corals. So it's an extremely low flow aquarium and I'll place the cuttings on the bottom and they will attach to that rubble. You can see some leathers there and zinnias, mushrooms. Then after a couple weeks, I'll check them and if they're attached to a piece of rubble, then they are ready to glue onto a freight plug. So I know not everybody has that luxury. You can try to find a very low flow area in your aquarium and put them in there to attach to some substrate. And after you get them attached to the substrate, then you can glue them onto the frag plug. And once they're glued on the frag plug, they are solid and ready to go. You can place them back in your aquarium or take them to your fish store for credit. You can see this guy, he's, he's already got a couple heads growing. He'll continue to split on his own. That's pretty much it for mushroom propagation. It's a very easy coral to do. It's a very cheap one, a very good one for beginners. So here's a, a shot of the mushrooms that we cut out of the aquarium. You can see where we cut them, they've got these bubbly, kind of like intestine looking protrusions, protrusions coming out. And that'll close up and seal off and that'll become the mouth of the mushroom. And then the head will grow out around that and form another mushroom. That's it guys, I appreciate it. If you like the video, please leave comments below. Please subscribe to the channel, it helps us out a lot. Until next time, thanks.